It's more common than ever to be able to access your documents, music, and more whenever and wherever. Today, many websites offer the ability, some at cost, to access your files remotely, but you're usually restricted to the file types and sizes of the service provider. And you don't always have very much flexibility to always store any file of any size. But fortunately, the ShareCenter Network storage devices from D-Link give you tremendous flexibility to store, well, anything. The Web File Server feature gives you not only the ability to access, but to download and share your files with anyone at any time. You can access your music at work and even share your photos with family and friends across the country at full resolution with no restrictions or limitations. And if you want, you can set up others with their own username and password, restrict them to specific folders, or limit their uploads with quotas. Web File Server is just one of the many applications you can use on ShareCenter devices. So I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to set up. So let's go. Your router usually keeps your internet-enabled devices safely away from outside access. But if you're running your own web file server, you'll want to open up a port in your firewall and point port 80, used for HTTP, to your ShareCenter device. So log into your router, click Status, and look at the IP address of your ShareCenter device. As you can see here, our DNS325 IP address is 192.168.0.100 but yours might be different. Either way, you'll want to remember this because we'll need it in just a minute. Now click on Advance at the top, and you'll be taken to the Virtual Server List. This is where we'll forward port 80 for HTTP to your NAS. Click on Application Name and select HTTP. Click the left arrows and it will auto-populate the port. Below that you'll see IP and enter the IP address of your device. Ours is 192.168.0.100 and check the box to enable the new virtual server. Then click on Save Settings. Now that you've forwarded the HTTP port 80 to your share center, you'll want to set up Dynamic DNS that will allow you to create a friendly host name as opposed to a random IP address that points to your home or office. Plus, Dynamic DNS will update your home's always changing IP address because most of us don't have a static IP. D-Link offers one of the many services for free Dynamic DNS accounts. You can easily set one up in a couple of minutes by going to dlinkddns.com. If you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up a Dynamic DNS account, be sure to watch our other videos. But after setting up a Dynamic DNS account, log into your ShareCenter device and click on Management, then Network Management, and click on Dynamic DNS on the left. Click Enable and enter your account information below. You can use the drop-down to auto-select the server address for many common Dynamic DNS services. Then enter the host name you created through your Dynamic DNS service. Ours was dlinktv.dlinkddns.com, but yours will be different. Then enter your username and password for your Dynamic DNS account. Click on Save Settings, and after a few short moments, you'll be prompted with a status, letting you know that your device successfully connected to the Dynamic DNS service. And that's it. And now I'll show you how to access files from your ShareCenter NAS remotely using the Web File Server feature. Anytime you are away from your home or office, open any web browser on a Mac or PC, type the hostname you created on your Dynamic DNS account in the address bar, and you'll immediately recognize the interface. Log in with the password you usually use when logging into your Share Center from home. Click on Applications and Web File Server. You'll see the contents of your NAS, including all the folders and files. Navigate to a file you want to download remotely, select it, and click on the Download button. Your browser will prompt you to save the file. It's that simple. You can also upload a file to your NAS remotely, navigate to a folder where you want to save the file to, click on the Upload button, and select the file you want to upload. There's not much else to it. Web File Server allows you to access your files on your ShareCenter device over the internet using your browser. You can download and upload files wherever you are. It's easy, flexible, and convenient to use whether you're in the office or at the coffee shop. And not only does D-Link Share Center Network Storage Device give you the security of knowing that your files are backed up, but also the convenience of being able to access your files from anywhere at any time. Thanks for watching.